Hey folks, this is just an update. I came out here early this morning and I didn't see him. And then right around the very beginning of lunchtime, he showed up to where he is now. Um, it's been maybe about 20 minutes. Um, and I'm about to bring on his water. I think he saw me a couple minutes ago, uh, moving around in the kitchen. Um, so my plan is just to swap his water um, I wasn't planning to feed him. I'll wait for tonight. Uh, he was not as enthusiastic last night compared to the night before. One of the major differences was I gave him treats yesterday afternoon, so I'm wondering if I don't give him treats, will he be more enthusiastic tonight? So it's just a just a a, a variable to remove. So. Um, so I'm going to be quick, probably won't record, um, swapping the water, and then I'm just going to probably go back in and, uh, hide, because <laughs> I don't want him to, uh, get his hopes up for feeding. So I'll see you tonight. Bye. Hi folks. So just an update. I went out there, changed the water. He saw me the moment I closed the patio door. He you know, ran kind of right over to the door. Um, and then he started checking out the kennel. Um, he hasn't gone in. He's just been sitting with his head kind of looking in, which I thought was peculiar, which is why I wanted to start filming. So I noticed, yeah, the blanket's kind of wet from, I think, spilled water. And it looked like Scruffy knocked over the cup. Um, and then it probably didn't help that I spilled water yesterday. So I think, yeah, the blanket needs to be dried somewhere, like in a dryer, because, yeah, it's so cold now that it's not going to dry, I think, by, by itself, especially if I keep putting more water in there. So I need to figure out something, particularly if I'm going to have him try to stay in there when it gets cold. So I may need to wash the blanket and dry it. Um, before that, um, not that I have a lot of opportunities. Uh, so yeah, something to think about. Anyway, uh, he's not moving, <laughs> so I'm kind of curious what he's doing. I need... don't know why he's just sitting there. <laughs> You gonna move? No? <clears throat> well, so I brought out some power cords so I can try to, um, extension cords so I can try to run the, the heater dish near the, the carrier. But, uh, hmm, I wonder if he's able to drag the cup back. No, I, I, no, I put it near the back. I don't think he's able to reach without going in. So anyway, yes, yeah, so I have a couple extension cords and a power strip with a power switch. So one of the things I was thinking about was if I'm sitting at the chair and the dish is away from me pointing at the carrier, I won't be able to control it without getting up and getting up probably, you know, still scares them. So I probably want, if I can manage it, to have some sort of switch near the chair that I can reach. Uh, that way I can turn it on and off without having to get up. And that might make him less afraid. <laughs> uh, I don't seem to have the right length power cords, so I have some that are too long, which is kind of annoying. And then I got some that are too short, which is not helpful. Um, I think I found two, if I put them together, it might be at the right length. Um, I know you're, it's, a, it's a little sketchy when you connect uh, extension cords like that, so I'm kind of debating what I should do. Um, I like this extension cord though because it is a little bit thicker. I don't have the actual gauge on it, but um, just because the heater dish is going to be 
pulling a lot of power and want a, a more insulated cord. I don't plan to be running it, you know, very far. That's why I don't want the big long ones because you need thicker, thicker gauge. Um, the longer you run. So yeah, I need to think about that stuff too. So anyway, yeah, I think he's just going to sit there for a while. I don't know. Maybe he's hoping to come back out. I didn't put any treats in there this time. So anyway, I'm going to end it here because I don't think he's doing anything. <laughs> okay, I'll see you tonight. Bye.